Hello everyone, this is Rob Cappellini from the Volatility and Risk Institute. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about our Volatility Welcome page. You can navigate to the Volatility Welcome page by clicking the Analyses drop-down and selecting Volatility Analysis. On this page you can see at the top four Pareto charts. Each of these rank the top volatility for the countries, industries, currencies, and commodities that we have in VLAB. Hovering over each bar will show you the volatility for that entity. Scrolling down to the bottom of the page, you can see the weeks and months most popular analyses based upon what our users have viewed in VLAB. Clicking on the links will take you to the respective analysis page. This is an example of an analysis page in VLAB. In this case, we're looking at the S&P 500 index Garch volatility analysis. You can see here the prediction for Tuesday, September 21st, 2021 is for a 13.17% volatility, which represents an increase of 2.84% from the previous day. You can also see on this header that the analysis was last updated on Monday, September 20th at 9.40 p.m. Universal Time. Scrolling down further on the page, you can see a graph of the volatility for the S&P 500 index Garch model. Clicking the comparison menu, you can compare this analysis to the volatility of various volatility indices or different models that use the S&P 500 index or also other analyses in general. Say, for example, Bank of America's Garch analysis. You can see now we have all of the volatilities plotted on one. You can also choose a subplot. Currently we have price and return plotted. You could also choose just to plot return or price or have no subplot. You can also choose different line styles such as line points where each observation is marked with a box or a hash. The line points is most useful when graphing a very small window of data. You can choose the key position either to be outside or also inside at the various corners of the graph. And lastly, with the menu, you can choose to create a copy of the graph, which you could then save locally and use in various presentations. Using the date range select tool, you can select a different window on which to plot the data. There are also shortcuts for six months, one year, two years, five years, 10 years, and plotting all the data available. Moving down to the volatility summary table, this provides various summary statistics for the S&P 500 Garch volatility analysis. Namely, it shows the last closing price, the average weekly volatility, minimum, average, maximum volatility, the volatility of volatility, yesterday's return, the average monthly vol, as well as predictions. On the right-hand side, we have parameter estimates that show you the various parameters for this Garch model. In the case of a Garch model, we have three parameter estimates for the volatility, omega, alpha, and beta. Should we have a different volatility analysis chosen that uses other coefficients, they will also be displayed in this window. You can also see an estimation period being shown that shows you the window of data used to estimate these coefficients. In this case, the estimation period was from January 1st, 1990 to September 17th, 2021. The news impact curve graph shows us the impact of return today on tomorrow's volatility. As you can see, the Garch model is a symmetric model, so we see a symmetric shape U curve. Should we have an asymmetric model like a GJR Garch, we would see those asymmetric effects in this news impact curve graph. We also plot the forecasts of volatility for one day ahead, one week ahead, one month ahead, six months ahead, and one year ahead on the volatility forecast window. Lastly, on this page, we also provide the capability to view a different model for the S&P 500 index, say the GJR Garch model. 
Also, switching over to the Assets tab, you can view other equity indice GJR Garch models. Say, for example, the NASDAQ Composite Index. If you have any questions as to what's on this page, you can always click on the What's on this page link at the top right corner, which provides further documentation as to what you're seeing on this volatility analysis page.